Hello, this is Dr. Randy Morris. I am a board certified fertility expert and the medical director at the world renowned IVF1 Fertility Center in Naperville, Illinois. And this is Infertility TV. Recently, the International Infertility Conference known as ESHRE wrapped up in Helsinki, Finland. ESHRE is the European Society of Human Reproduction and Embryology. Meetings such as this one allow physicians and scientists to present their latest research to their peers. These meetings can serve as an early indicator of which directions fertility treatments may go in the future, what new technologies may become valid treatments, and which ones were not able to withstand the rigors of scientific scrutiny. In today's special ESHRAE episode, we are going to talk about freezing embryos. We have covered this topic before on Infertility TV. Click the link above to visit our previous episode. The basic question is this. If you are doing IVF, is it better to put the embryos into the uterus right away, which is known as a fresh transfer, or freeze the embryos and put them back later, which is known as a deferred or frozen transfer? In the past, the answer was to do a fresh transfer, since pregnancy rates on frozen transfers were usually a bit lower. However, over the years, freezing technology has been improved. At X-ray this summer, Dr. Karen Hunter Cohn presented a study in which she examined more than 16,000 IVF treatments performed at 12 fertility centers. After matching for several different variables, their analysis showed that in certain groups, freezing all of the embryos and having a deferred transfer produced more pregnancies than a fresh transfer. Among the groups that showed improvement were, number one, women over 35 years old. 46% of these couples became pregnant using deferred transfer compared to 33% who became pregnant with a fresh transfer. Number two, there was also a benefit found in patients with elevated levels of the hormone progesterone prior to egg retrieval. And this was evident where they were, whether they were younger or older. Because of this and other studies, fertility experts are now debating whether other patients may benefit from the freeze-all approach. Come back next week for another X-ray special episode. If you like this video, remember to like this video and share it in your support groups and on your favorite social media channels. Do you have a topic or question you would like answered on Infertility TV? Let us know in the comments. You don't want to miss any episodes, so subscribe to Infertility TV now and visit our website at IVF1.com.